Welcome back, dear students. Following our lesson about slope, today's lesson we are going to talk about direct variation. The objective is to determine if there is a direct variation. First, what is meant by direct variation? As you see in this graph, the direct variation is a linear relationship where the ratio of y to x is a constant k. We say y varies directly with x. So here we have y equals 2x. This means that y over x equals the constant k and in this case k is equal to 2. So if we have y equals kx where here in this example y equals 2x if we get y divided by x on that side this will give us 2 on the other side and 2 is the constant of variation which is k. So when two variable quantities have a constant ratio the, the relationship is called direct variation. So in that case y and x the relationship between them is called direct variation. Why? Because there is a constant ratio between them which is 2 in that case. The constant ratio is called constant of variation or constant of proportionality or it is the slope at the same time. In a direct variation equation the constant rate of change or slope is assigned a special variable k. An example the equation y equals 10x represents the amount of money y, Julia, earns for x hours of work. Identify the constant of proportionality and explain what it represents in, the, in this situation. First, we're going to compare the equation y equals kx with the equation y equals 10x, which is given in the example. Compare them. Do they look alike? Yes, they look alike. So where y equals kx and here y equals 10x in the example, so 10 should be the k. So the constant of proportionality in that case is 10. And that means that Julio earns $10 for every hour that he works. Now, how can we determine if a linear relationship is a direct variation given an equation? If you are given an equation, how can you determine if a linear relationship is direct variation or not? If the equation is in the form y equals kx, so directly this is a direct variation. Okay, if you are not given, again, given an equation, if you are given a graph, how can you determine if a linear relationship is direct or not? Given a graph, the line goes through the origin. So if the line goes through the origin, like in this graph, y and x, the relationship between them, the graph goes through the line, goes through the origin here. This is the origin. So if it goes through the origin and it's a straight line, this means that the relation between y and x is a direct variation. If you are given a table, to determine if you are given a table, if the, if the relation between y and x direct is a direct variation or not, the ratio y to x should be constant. Let us look at this example. Pizzas cost $8 each plus a $3 delivery charge. Show the cost of 1, 2, 3 and 4 pizzas. Is there a direct variation? Okay, so we will make this table. This is the number of pizzas. This is 1 pizza, 2, and 3, and 4 pizzas. And this is the cost for each of them. We know that the cost for each one is $8 plus a $3 delivery charge. So $8 for each pizza. For the first one, you have one pizza. So you're going to multiply 8 times 1 and you add the $3 charge. So 8 multiplied by 1 is 8 plus 3 is 11. For the second one, you're going to multiply 8 times 2 and add the 3 also. 8 times 2 is 16 plus 3 is $19. For the third one, it is 8 times 3 pizzas and add the, th the 3 which is the delivery charge. 8 times 3 is 24, 24 plus 3 is 27. And for the last one here, this is 8 times 4 plus 3 and 8 times 4 is 
32 plus 3 is 35 dollars now we go we have to determine if this is a direct variation or not so if we draw a graph for these for these points this is the y this is the cost and this is the x number of pizzas the first point is 1 and 11 so 1 and 11 is here this is 1 and 11 the second one is 219 the third is 327 and the fourth is 435 and you draw the line connect the line between the points as you see from the graph we see that the line here is not passing through the origin so we have to say that this is not a direct variation from the graph but we can prove it also from the table here we have to look at the relationship between the y and x or the if we make y over x 11 over 1 this is for the first point is equals to 11 the second point is 19 over 2 and 19 over 2 is is 9.5 they are not the same so we cannot we can stop here we don't proceed more and we stop here and we say that there is no constant ratios because the ratio here is 11 the ratio here is 9.5 it's not constant and the line does not go through the origin also so all this proves that they are not there is no direct variation between y and x thank you for watching if you like the video please press like subscribe to my channel and also you can follow my facebook page as shown here on the screen to the next video bye